I should watch more mainline TV because I always get energized because we watch very little TV. Sometimes late at night we'll turn something on. And it's just all, if you don't trust the government, if you love freedom, you're murdering children in your basement, you're planning to buy a weapon in New York, and it's, it's like every show I turn on. And you've got these, these arrested development, childlike people watching it who really believe this is real, who really believe Obama launched peace in Libya, who really believe he can do whatever he wants without Congress, who really believe George W. Bush found WMDs in Iraq. You know, 54% in major polls of American conservatives believe WMDs were found in Iraq, even though it's admitted they weren't. Though I've predicted for years they're going to roll them out later like bin Laden. I know how they work. I know how they work. And, and why am I risking my life to bring you this information? Because there's no future for anybody if these people win. Do you understand? These aren't some boss hog tyrants that just want to rob stuff. These are eugenicists. Their religion is the state is God. Their religion is set up world government, cut off resources, and end the family as it's known. I'm resisting them. I'm all in, totally committed. People say, don't you have bodyguards? Don't you worry when you walk around at night? No, I don't worry about none of it. Whatever, it's in God's hands. I'm fighting total murdering scum who staged 9-11. You think I'm going to just sit here and cower because they're killers? If you don't admit that government sponsoring terror and that our government isn't our government anymore has been taken over, America will die. Liberty worldwide will die. They are going to use staged terror to destroy every basic freedom. I got a stack of news here. We're in Florida, they're illegally selling your driver's license data and personal info to anybody that wants it, making $63 million a year, and it's illegal and they don't care, uh, that cops have got scanners tracking people everywhere they go in the cities, and that it's illegal. What type of society are we creating? As civil rights lawyer Harvey Silvergate, along with the ACLU. The Big Brother database that could map drivers' whereabouts with police cruiser-mounted scanners that captured thousands of license plates. It's already in everywhere. It's already in on those cameras on the polls, folks. It was in 15 years ago in almost every area of the country. Started in Indiana and Texas. Police to begin iPhone iris scans amid privacy concerns. You mean to keep going here? Oh, Austin just published the 10 water wasters, uh, the, the private citizens that waste too much water, publicly pillaring them for their environmental crimes. Meanwhile, the globalists are GMO engineering every major crop on record sterilize us. That's not an environmental crime, though. Somebody having a broken water pipe under their house for a month, they need to get published in the paper, just like people that have concealed carries get published in the paper. If you don't wake up to these crooks that are out of control, they're not going to let you plant a garden in your front yard. <gasps> Already happened. <gasps> they're not going to let you have a garden in your backyard. They're not going to let you pack your child's school lunch. The federal courts have already ruled your children aren't yours. They're the states. Don't believe me? Just search that term. These people, folks, tyranny's the norm worldwide. We got a case of it, a bad case in the 21st century, making it particularly nasty. Janice, we're going to break here in a moment, but finish up this, the, the, the show Homeland, where the vets are all terrorists, the conservatives are terrorists. Go ahead. They find this guy in, in Iraq. They blow something up, and he's in a cave, and he's like, I'm American. He's this red-haired, like, blue-eyed guy. And Claire Dane is like on this FBI mission to go after every POW because they've been turned. Oh, you can't go to Iraq and fight for your country without coming back and being a terrorist. That's Which is totally method. made up. That, that, that they have taught all the police departments in the country on our homeland security starting three years ago that IEDs will attack even your small town. It will be vets that do it. They're teaching police to have a purge of the military. I'm sorry, and, and the TV show is simulating this for folks? Sorry, go ahead. Oh, totally not even... It's, Let me yes, guess, just, does he IED people? Because that's what they teach the cops. Yes, and they're trying to tell her not to do it, and she's like, I know Murderous. he's turned. I've got to get him. Ugh. She's in his phone. She's got a telescope. She's uh, just after him. And let me guess, and he is a terrorist in the end? And uh, the manuals for a decade have been the veterans are going to get you, the conservatives, the libertarians, the gun owners, the farmers. we got to arrest them. Marines training to mow down. Farmers, I've been to the drills. Children training to go in their parents' houses and get their guns. We've got the footage of the drills. And it being admitted, Marines coming up with guns in Maryland saying, turn your cameras off. It's all confirmed. A giant secret buildup, bigger than the Cold War, against the American people. 
and that the government is run by criminals. They're going to stage terror attacks to get it done. And every sitcom, drama, cop show I watch, randomly, you turn it on, there's a guy going, there's chemtrails, they're spraying, they're, they're weather modifying. And then he goes down to a dungeon with little kids he's torturing. The message is, you're into chemtrails, you're torturing kids. Next episode, there's a guy who's uh, worried about vaccines killing people. He plans to release a bioweapon in New York. He's warning you about a bioweapon in the vaccines where governments have been caught over and over again. He's the one that's going to do it. And yes, they've had nationwide training for three years. Cops everywhere are hearing this and going, how does he know it? Because I get all the documents from cops that aren't idiots. And they're training them. Veterans will attack your police station. Every place in the country will be attacked with improvised explosive devices. And I asked Janice, she was talking about the show Homeland. I haven't seen it. I've seen the trailer. And I said, let me guess, the veterans they're tracking are going to have IEDs to kill cops. And she says, yes, that's the episode. I already know. I know the script. They're teaching everyone that if you're not an idiot and you own guns, you're the enemy. Because the foreign banks are going to gang rape America. And they're not going to let scumbag armed Americans that know they're the enemy get in their way. Okay? Now, you can wake up to this or you can't. If you don't wake up, they're going to have their way with you. Janice finishing up the show about the evil veterans that are the, the, that are the real Al-Qaeda we've now got to face. Well, the, the big question that hangs in my mind is that if POWs are so bad, then why aren't they arresting John McCain, who wants 100 years of war? You know, I mean, hello. It's, it's so ridiculous. Well, that's because they already know they're taking all the pension funds and pay and health care from the vets. And, uh, and, and, and they're going to go after the vets. It's, 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 it's freedom, though. Things and say, so why are you doing this? Because she's proud of it. She's like on, you know, talking about, you know, the behind the scenes. She's like, I know thing. this dirty veteran's a terrorist. And, and he does turn like, out to be one, correct? Yes. Of course. And, she's, mm -hmm. she's, and he stares at the Capitol with the hoodie, you know. They always have to have hoodies. Yeah, on but he's the guy, cap. too. You said he talks about the Constitution a lot. And you said there's a, an, an Alan Watt conspiracy type guy, right? They always have that guy. Her boss. And he tells her not to do it. He's like, you can't do it. You can't do it. He, you know, it's against the Constitution. She goes, but we have to save our country. Well, it's like all those he, shows he, where the heroes are the torturers uh, under Bush. And then we find out they're raping small children in Abu Ghraib with giant objects dripping with battery acid. And the good old boys are like, it's of the Lord. Jesus would approve of that. And then now the Obama people are like, yeah, let's do it. Let's get tough. Because the new TV ads are Whitey's the terrorist and we're going to get him. So, see, see, for conservatives, we're going to get brown people, and they go, yeah, let's get them brown people. And then for the liberals, we're going to get whitey. And, 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 and what's the story? Uh, one lady could uh, eat no lean, and the other guy could eat no fat, but, but between the two, they licked the platter clean? Yeah, the nursery rhyme. Yeah, that's, I, mean, I think I got it backwards, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, something like that. It's just, it's so horrific, Alex. It is just horrific. I've never seen such horror in my life. And I, Claire Danes, I mean, she's always been like an okay actress. You know, I haven't like disliked her, but for her to play along with something like this. Don't worry, they've appalling. got movies coming out that the flu's coming and you're going to fight for that special vaccine. They admit the last vaccine killed a bunch of people and doubled your chances of catching the flu next time. Just search H1N1 shot, double chances of getting next flu, destroys immune system. Uh, look up in the testing of it at one hospital. Uh, 31 homeless died from the shot. Guillaume Barres is exploding. You go to a shopping mall and look at most little kids now. They look like they've been hit with a mutation ray. Brain degenerative diseases are off the chart. Cancer doubled the last 10 years, and so is diabetes. But everything's good. Take those shots. Eat the GMO. Do what the government tells you. Believe the television. It's so good. We'll be right back with some good Obama supporters. Good Americans. Yeah. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.